I'm Julia Ziegler Haynes. I'm a Brooklyn based artist and chef. Three years ago, I started a supper club called The Dinner Bell, a true underground eating experience. And as a bona fide control freak, I wear many hats to pull it off. More often than not, I'm left with a mishmash of leftovers, and while many saner people would collapse in an exhausted heap after all that, my masochistic side kicks in, and what do I do? Repurpose the leftovers and invite friends over for lunch. Today I'm making homemade focaccia for lamb meatball sandwiches with a fennel and herb slaw and ramp aioli. The leftovers that we have from last night's dinner are meatballs, strawberries, and ramps. So it's not much to choose from, but we're gonna beef it up and try to make something really different and special. We're gonna make a focaccia. It's fucking delicious. It's like basically fried in olive oil, so you're not gonna mess it up. Ideally, it's best to get your bread dough together as quickly as possible and as early as possible, because it does take a little bit of time. The ingredients for the focaccia should be in your pantry. Everyone should have flour, salt, and yeast. We're gonna take two tablespoons of coarse salt, and then I'm gonna grab some yeast. I prefer the jarred variety of yeast, and there's actually an expiration date on it. You know, yeast dies pretty easily. So now, starting with the seven cups of flour, dump it right into your mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can just dump it into a bowl. I find you get a nicer crumb if you do it with this machine, and I had it, so I wanted to show off. Dumping our salt and yeast in. Give it a quick spin. This is two cups of our three and a half cups of water. You can just pour it right in there. Focaccia is very easy to make. In fact, I like it so much because I'm fairly lazy and you can basically wake up in the morning, throw the ingredients together and hours later throw it in the oven. And it's good to lube it up with some olive oil. This dough is not finicky at all. It'll do its thing. Just give it a quick stir. It's okay if the olive oil incorporates a little bit. So you take a little bit of a dampened cloth, drape it over. This will take about two and a half, three hours. Well, our three hours has up. I had a whole pack of cigarettes and two cases of whiskey, and now it's time to bake our bread. Reveal. Oh yeah, that looks different. Make sure you have a nice big baking sheet on hand. Always good to lube up the pan. And then lightly start to sort of zhuzh it around and it feels like the most supple breast you've ever felt in your life. My favorite part's coming up, and that's when you start to put dimples in it and pretend like you're playing like 80s synthesizer. The final crucial touch is gray sea salt. I love gray sea salt. I'm kind of like one of those freaks that goes to stores and makes them write down my phone number and call me when they get it in bulk. A little goes a long way, and it's super tasty. Ready to pop and stop and drop? So 450 for 45, that's really easy to remember. Even for an idiot. You know, if you have an electric oven, that's a different story. I cannot help you, because you're a freak. Having people over the morning after a party is crucial. So today I'm having my friends Marika and George, who are a married couple, but also bandmates and they're in an awesome band called The Naked Heroes, a Brooklyn-based band. Yeah, have a seat. My little guinea pig victim. Tell me if this sounds good and shut the hell up if it doesn't. Um, I'm gonna make us some meatball sandwiches. It's gonna be a nice, juicy, thick, wet, meaty sandwich. Stop it, this is a family restaurant. So who can I trust with a knife? Not George. Not George. George. Would your pretty little fingers be okay picking herbs? I, they sure will. We'll That's we'll, what his fingers are good for. Revealing too much about your marriage there. <laughs> the dill is going to be in our slaw with a bunch of other herbs. So I'm just going to start piling on. Wow, this is, we've got you, parsley. You are piling it on. Yeah. Cilantro mm. and dill. Ah. Don't feel overwhelmed. Your fennel here is going to go with George's herbage to make a beautiful slaw. Is it true that certain people have like some weird um, innate reaction to cilantro? Yes, it tastes like dish soap to them. Is that what it does? Yeah. They call it an allergy, which oh. to me is a little much. Just being a pussy. Yeah. <laughs> so for the fennel slaw, we're gonna take what we just shaved. George's herbage, let's toss that in. Squeezing half a lemon or so, maybe a full, full lemon. That same gray sea salt that we topped the bread with and then some delicious olive oil. That's gonna chill out there. In the meantime, 
We're gonna give you some feta cheese. This is gonna be a little challenging. Oh God, y'all are struggling. <laughs> You're making me feel like a real professional. No, that's perfect. Really? I mean, what am I gonna say, really? And then naoli. I don't know if you guys have been around for that before, but it's a real experience. The basic balance of any aioli, it's an acid, egg, and oil. Aioli is just mayo with garlic in it. And we've got a little bit of garlic. That's one clove that I kind of bash with my fist. And then salt. And then very, very slowly you want to start adding the olive oil. We've gotten to go to Spain a couple times, which is the delicious food capital of the world. That's what they think. They definitely think that in every region they're like, our food's the best! <laughs> they're German? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So we've got these beautiful little ramps left over. Yeah, actually I've never done it with a blender, but we'll see. No pressure. That's how I like to roll. Nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, I'm making something for the first time for, live for people. Just so you guys yeah. feel guilty, uh, you should know I've been up for hours waiting for this bread. You look like it. <laughs> You're fired. Exactly. So this guy got real puffy. Smell it, give it a good whiff. Oh my God. There's nothing oh like that smell. What, what were we listening to about People getting turned male, the different scents that men and women. Cinnamon buns. Cinnamon. Makes men's horny. And baked bread. <laughs> yeah, it's all kinds of like weird Oedipus shit. It's like stuff that has to do with their mom. I went to an uh, open house one time and it's like he overdosed on reading like what kind of scents people enjoy. And he had like cooked bacon, sprayed perfume. <laughs> he literally was in the backyard with like a weird fake tiki lounge, like shaking up drinks. And he had the TV blaring and Nazi war memorabilia hung up in his. Where is this? I'm not gonna tell you because he'll probably come kill me. <laughs> These are fucking huge. Are we hungry or are we yeah, hungry? Yeah, we're hungry. So we're gonna it's do a amazing. nice big slather of the aioli, both sides. All right. And the meatballs have been braising, warming up nicely. Wow. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, all kinds of things happening. Good. All kinds of color in there. That's mold. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna top it with our herb slaw. Don't be shy, get your hand in there. Some nice chunks of feta. Yeah. I think a good sandwich has a little salt, some acid, all the good things. Some fattiness, the crunch, but with the gushy inside. Oh, shit. Mm. <laughs> That's a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Wow, fucking good. It's crusty, but it's so moist on the inside. Yeah. Just like my personality. <laughs> I know, crusty on the outside. <laughs> moist on the inner. Moist on the inside. This is a really amazing use of leftovers. Easy peasy. Any idiot like you could do it. <laughs> it's true. Well, thank you guys again for joining me. Thanks for you, having Julia. us, Julia. I hope you come back and join us again.